Welcome back to Gentleman's Corner, guys. My name is David. <clears throat> well, as promised, this is the Dunhill Review video. Um, I've had this pipe now for a couple of weeks, but I wanted to just take you through some of the highlights of it. First of all, <clears throat> this is a Dunhill Shell Briar that I got off of an eBay auction. This is the only flaw in the entire thing, is the fact that this box will not sit straight. Now, granted, this pipe and its box are both original. This is from the 1960s. This is cardboard. So, for being a 58-year-old pipe, that's pretty darn impressive. Um, th that is the only flaw of this entire thing. So you can see there's you know some minor wear and tear along the edges uh, and on the label. You can see here, let's see if I can get this separated. This is a group one. Uh, and then there's the back, there's the bottom. So I mean, you can see there's some damage to the box, but I mean, that's to be expected. This thing is, like I said, 58 years old. So but let's go ahead and open her up. And there we go. So we have, by appointment, tobacconist to the late King George VI, Alfred Dunhill Limited. Very nice. <clears throat> so we'll go ahead, this is the pipe. We're gonna go ahead and put that off to the side for the moment so that you can see all of the lovely goodness that is taking place in the side of this box. So first of all, this is the <clears throat> velvet satin, I'm not sure what material it is, pipe sock that uh, came with the pipe originally. This is Dunhill, London, made in England. Um, as you can see, this thing looks like it has never been opened. Um, it, it is as crisp as can be. Um, this was probably never even used. So we're going to put that aside for the moment so that we can continue within to our box. This was the part that impressed me the most, I think. This is the original <coughs> um, information booklet. You can see there are no creases, no tears. All of the pages are pristine. There is no discoloration. Go ahead and open up to just a random page here. So this is the white spot guarantee, making the pipe, and the selection of a pipe. Um, now, obviously, this has been yellowed with age. But other than that, this thing is absolutely flawless. Look how how old the tin art was for the Dunhill three years matured. Let's see, f favorite Dunhill tobaccos. My mixture, my mixture 965, my mixture 10. Standard mixture, three year matured and Dunhill flake. Uh, luxurious tobaccos, the Royal Yacht, the Cuba mixture, uh, Durbar. So how to smoke the pipe. Uh, smoking a new pipe, after smoking, cleaning, regulating the carbon cake. It shows some lovely Dunhill uh, cleaning products and a reamer. Um, a Dunhill pipe tool, repairs, polishing the pipe. Um, and then some other products for the pipe glove. By the way, uh, random fact. This pipe glove right here, I saw an ad for one of these um, that was a 19, it was a pre-1940s uh, Dunhill in one of these on eBay. Uh, so keep, keep an eye out for those things. It was a patent pipe uh, and Dunhill stopped putting patents on their pipes in, I think it was the 1940s. So and then these travel cases. Uh, but as you can see, I mean, this thing is pristine. Um, in terms of the art, the, the look of it. And there's the contact us if you have problems, but even the staple is still shiny. I mean, th this thing is utterly ridiculously beautiful. Um, so then underneath the uh, information booklet, we have the Dunhill Guarantee. And obviously, the lighting is really bad on this shot. Uh, so I'll try and read this to you. 
Guarantee if the bowl of this pipe should crack or burn within 90 days of the date of purchase, a new pipe will be given in exchange. A pipe should be sent with particulars as to date and place of purchase to USA or Canada, Alfred Dunhill. And then it says Dunhill, and then it's signed Alfred Dunhill. And then down in here, I don't know if you can read that, it says a pipe given cannot... <coughs> Excuse me, cannot be again. I've always struggled to read that word. Exchanged. So it's a, a pipe so given cannot be again exchanged. So just saying, yeah, when, when we give you your replacement, that's it. So we'll go ahead and put these items back. Keep how pristine this is. When I saw that it had the pipe sock, I was blown away. When I saw that it had the original booklet, I almost had a heart attack um, for what I paid for this pipe. And we will get to that in a second. So now, dun da da da, there it is. put that over there this is the pipe as you can see it is in just about as pristine condition as you can get um, this is a gorgeous gorgeous pipe there's just a little bit I'll try to get the light on it um, you can see just the most minute damage um, here on the fishtail and I, I do think this pipe has been smoked. I think it was smoked a grand total of one time uh, in its entire tenure. Now granted, I smelled it. I cannot smell tobacco in this bowl. I cannot. I put my finger in there the first day that I got it and when I pulled it out, it has just this little bit, I can't get to the focus, it has just this little bit of dust on it, and I cannot tell if that is soot from pipe or if that is the pre-carbonized cake breaking down um, just due to the age of this pipe. <clears throat> so a little bit about this pipe um, and how I came across it. This is a 1960 Shell Briar, and it is a Group 1. This is a shape 105. I'm actually going to bring it like this. This is a shape 105. Uh, the 105 is a very small pipe. Uh, this bowl is only about, I'll show you, so pinky. So just past my first knuckle right there. So that's about an inch deep. So yeah, about an inch deep. Um, it, it is this just tiny little pipe. These were made as pocket pipes. Um, that was the intent behind their making. And they are absolutely beautiful. It's super, super light. Um, if I were to clench this, it would feel like nothing was even there. Um, but as you can see, I mean, the bowl is just beautiful. There is no rim darkening there at all. The shell patterning is nice and deep. It is etched perfectly, it's shiny. So here is the pipe's information. I'll try to get this as zoomed in as possible. So I'll show you what the markings here are. So it's a shape 105 FT, which is fishtail. And then it says Dunhill Shell Briar, which is also what this S over here stands for. It's got a one in a circle. That means it is a group one pipe. And then I don't know if you can really see this. It says made in England, and then it has a zero that is underlined. Um, and the zero is smaller than the D in England. That is indicative of a 1960 pipe. And the reason I know that is because between 1960 and 1970, <clears throat> or excuse me, 1969, the letters or the numbers from zero to nine were placed next to the D, smaller than the D, and then it goes back and forth whether or not they were ever underlined. Um, 
some of them were some of them weren't but that's what you're looking for um, in, in this line is for that uh, if this were a normal size zero that would indicate 1970 so on and so forth um, so from 1970 to 1979 it was a single digit number the same size as the D in England uh, after 1980, it was a 10, 11, 12, 13, so on and so forth. You get the idea. But this is a zero with an underline, and it is smaller than the D. So this is a 1960. So this is a 58-year-old pipe, uh, Alfred Dunhill, that is just in absolutely beautiful condition. Um, really, really, really nicely done. Um, I got this for about half of what it is actually worth. And uh, I'm not going to give numbers away. You can do research on your own to figure out what a pipe in this condition would be worth. The value, however, um, I talked with my local brick and mortar. The value does go up because I got the original box and all the documentation with it and that I was very, very excited about. Um, it doesn't go up by much, but it's something a little extra. But this is a pipe that I probably will never sell. Um, I probably will keep it just because the story is way too cool to not tell anybody. Um, I still haven't decided yet if I'm gonna smoke it. And you know, I have a lot of people who have told me don't smoke it because it's worth more the way that it is but if i'm not planning on selling it then do i really not need to smoke it but at the same time it's kind of cool the fact that it's unsmoked or virtually unsmoked so i go back and forth um and i'd love to get your all's thoughts if you think i should smoke this pipe if you think i shouldn't um you know drop a comment let me know but yeah otherwise uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I know it's been a couple of weeks that I said I would get this done, and I just I haven't had the time. So I'm, I'm filming this right now. It's like midnight on a Sunday. Uh, but I wanted to be able to show you all this pipe because I knew a lot of y'all would appreciate it. Other than that, um, if you have enjoyed this video, then I would please ask you to hit that like button. Uh, if you'd like to see future videos, please make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications for us. <clears throat> and uh, other than that, again, my name is David. This has been Gentleman's Corner. We thank you for, or I thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great night.